Jacob, it's a mess up here. There's no sign of your people. Sophia might have taken them into the catacombs beneath the tower. But I've lost contact with her. All right, I'll look for her there. We're almost done evacuating the wounded here. I'll join you soon. We heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak, heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could. But his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that forum could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. Too late.
I want answers, but what choice do I have now? I can't let Trinity wipe these people out. There are lines here that I crossed a long time ago, and there's no going back. I've got to help them. It's clear that Jacob's people would die for him, and he for them. That kind of loyalty is rare, and to find it here at the ends of the earth is truly remarkable. If I fight with them, perhaps Jacob will trust me enough to tell me what's really going on. God, no. Our ancestors came here as men and women fleeing Byzantium. They wandered into a wild that almost killed them, but they survived and found this valley. And how did they honor this gift from God? By tearing the stones from the mountains and building a new empire, a mocking echo of that which almost destroyed them. But like the Tower of Babel, God saw fit to cast us down and to make us humble. We learned to listen to the land, to become stewards, not conquerors. And in turn, the land has offered up its secrets. You only have to listen. The creatures of this valley were unfamiliar to us, once. But now they are our brothers and sisters, as much as any relative of blood. You can learn much about the creatures of our valley from the hunters, but they find worth in death. We must also find the gifts our brothers give while they are still alive. In the nests of birds, you'll find feathers for the fletchers to craft arrows. Ask for what you need, and the valley will provide. It is our first winter since the Mongol invasion. No more than one in three of us will survive. We once had marble palaces, heated by geothermal vents. We had the wealth and luxury of an empire. Today, we struggle to find enough hides to keep our children warm, to gather enough roots and berries to feed ourselves. If we are to survive another winter, we will have to adapt. If we do not, then we will feed the soil, and the animals will take back the valley. It is up to us now. Only us.
It's a reliquary box. Something used to protect and hold relics of the saints. Anything from teeth to fingers to the entire head, this claims to be a relic of the Prophet. <gasps> it's empty. Spread out and sweep the area. Kill anything still moving. And use your knives if you can. We need to conserve ammo. Check this out. We don't have time for this. Let's move. Over there! You're mine!
Hey, hey, hold up. These bastards are resourceful. They might have set up some traps. Don't worry. I'll kill anything that moves. Just take it slow. Stay sharp. Every last one of them. Easy, Sophia. So much bloodshed. We're losing too many people. Maybe your people have sacrificed enough. It's all we've known. I misjudged you, Lara. Tell me how I can help you. I've got to get the rest to safety. But the entrance to the catacombs is blocked. I'll find a way to clear it. You're gonna be okay. Uh, uh, I'm all right. I'll be all right. Lara, we've got to find a way past the blockage. Uh, uh, Shh. Just breathe. We'll get you to safety. Just hold on. You didn't have to help us. It'll I will place. remember that. I just need to rest. Give me a moment. This mural shows the moment they found the valley. It must have looked like a paradise. There it is. Maybe I can unblock it from here. The catacombs. We'll be safe there. Hmm, some kind of armory. Hmm, this should do it.
An ancient deer charm carved from a stag's antler. It could have been an important object or a child's toy. Thank you, Lara. They'll be safe in the catacombs for now. I know you seek the Divine Source, but my people will die to protect it. Your people are already dying. You can't protect it forever. We've lasted this long. But for now, I'm glad to have you as an ally. They're converging on the tower. We still got people there. Get the others to safety. They'll need you. I can read this now, and it's pointing somewhere. My father is missing. Last night, I told him of the invaders and the weapons they have at their disposal. When the sun rose, he was gone. Cyril told me he would be back, but the day is almost done, and no one has seen him. I fear he may have done something rash, the old fool. We need him. At this moment, more than ever. The flora of our valley, from the tall trees to the lowly mushrooms, were foreign to our ancestors when they first arrived. It took time and tragedy to learn the language of this land. But now we pass on this knowledge with every generation. The earth offers all we need. There is the healing herb, which you know to seek near sources of water and in sheltered coves. The birchwood of the forest, straight and true, can be gathered to make arrows and the death caps, the mushrooms you find inside rotting logs or in dark, damp places, can make a potent poison. Anywhere you can. 
Leave it to me. I can do this. A papal bull. The lead seal marking the authenticity of a document. This must have been attached to something of great import, like a writ of excommunication.
Jacob, it looks like we've got the upper hand. Good work. Those choppers should be in range soon. They're here. We did it. Laura, are you there? Trinity is swarming the tower. We're trapped in the catacombs beneath. Damn! Just hold on! I'm on my way! Elias and I will attempt to reach the far hills, where the old bear lives. Trinity is still clustered below in the old Soviet base. We will wait until the dead of night to go. It is a great risk, but we know a battle is coming. We'll have need of the medicinal herbs that grow in those hills, if we are to survive the coming struggle. It has been nearly a decade since Katesh was lost to us. In the first years, I thought we would not survive. We are the remnant of a once great people, but we did survive. The struggle became second nature, and then a way of life. Our numbers no longer dwindle. We may never be great again, but we will live, this winter and the next. I know this in my heart, for God has given us a sign. Last night, a wild man wandered into our camp, emaciated and raving with fever. We gave him food, cut his tangled beard, and cleaned his wounds. The others do not recognize him yet. It has been too long. But I know him. The Prophet. The Prophet has returned to us. Team 5, we're heading into the catacombs. Need some backup here. 
Got it. On our way. Why don't we just drop in some grenades and be done with it? No, the Atlas could be down there. <sighs> He's right. We can't risk it. But they won't give up without a fight. All right, let's get this hatch open. We'll go in when our backup arrives. You're damn right I am. Hold this position. I'll push her back. Cover it. Jacob, they're gone. I fear this battle is far from over. Will you tell me more about this place? You've earned that much. Come with me. In ancient times, our prophet brought the divine source to this valley. My ancestors built a test to protect it from the outside world. To what end? What is the divine source, Jacob? An artifact from a time long forgotten. We believe it holds a fragment of God's soul. Legend tells us those who beheld the source were granted immortality. But others have always been drawn here, seeking its power. Trinity. Yes. They seek to spread their darkness across the world. With the source, their soldiers would be unstoppable. Then help me find it before they do. This is not your burden. Of course it is. My father died for this. You can't fill the emptiness inside you, Lara. You can only set it free. I'm gonna find it. With or without you. Wait, Sophia, let me go. I have to do what I can. You spilt blood for us. I want to help. You know where the Atlas is? The cathedral, in the archives below. But we won't follow you there. Why? What will I find? There are others. The deathless ones. 
They will kill any who trespass. My father believes they will stop Trinity. You can't take that chance. I know. Here, take this. It will help you reach the cathedral. <laughs> 